Hi, it's David in the stained glass studio, and uh, before the video starts, I just wanted to mention that we have another video that we did that you may also be interested in, because this one is about how we uh, repurposed a vase that had gotten broken. Now, this one is about cutting off the top of a bottle that we did for a friend, and I think you'll find it interesting. So here we go. Hi, it's David in the glass studio. We have a friend who uh, had an accident with a bottle. She was taking some kind of a uh, a seal off of it. This is the piece that I... Okay, so it was broken here. You can see right here how it was broken. And so then she wa she wondered if there might be some way that we could cut it off, smooth it out. So I took the bottle, tipped it up on the ring saw, and carefully turned it so that I could cut this piece off. So now this is what I have left. And if you look down here at the side of the neck, you can see how how rough it is. So what we want to do is try and grind this off. Well now I could put it on this grinder, but you see, it's way too high. Holds me way up high above the grinder, so I'd have to do everything at an angle, and I don't want to do that. But it happens that I've got a Diamond Max Super Spin. We use this when it's turned around, we can use this as a, as a regular grinder. But when it's turned this way, we can use it as a to grind glass flat. And so what we're going to do here is take off this work face shield. And we're going to work on this surface right here. And you'll see there, there's a lot of water built up on here because I've got water in this reservoir. And... And I've got the, it unplugged. I took the little, uh, there's a little plug here that, that sits right about here. And you pull it out and you get a little drip of water. And it drips down on here. So now when I flip it, it'll spin it around and you get a little water out of the bottom. But I tested the bottle earlier. And yes, it is. What do you think? It's a pretty heavy bottle, and I think if we mess with it too much, we we just make the neck shorter. Mm -hmm. See, you can see it. It's kind of at an a a little bit of an angle. What do you think? You think I should try to grind it more flat? Mm. I might give it one more. Did change the shape of it. Yeah, I'll put it against the wall again. Yeah. Okay, well, there it is. Now this is a really heavy, solid bottle. I don't know where it, in the world it, it came from. And what does it say on the? What does it say on the bottom there, Jeannie? Oh, turn off 
the machine. Huh. It's got some kind of wording on it. But uh, see how thick that glass is? There's no way this is a modern bottle. This is an old, old bottle, and it's got a maker stamp on here, too. APA Gazo Stas and then some numbers. Well, there it is. There's our project for today. We just thought you'd be interested in seeing that. How with this diamond match, you're able to flatten things. And, you know, if I needed to get deeper into here, I could take this particular uh, stand off. You just undo the, the grinder bit and this part comes, comes off, you see. But... I didn't need to since since I could get to, to it. All right. Thanks for being with us in the stained glass studio. We'll see you next time.